In this video I'm going to show you how to get your Steel DDR pad or Xbox DDR pad to be able to work with your PC due to the fact that a lot of them have driver issues and have the access issue which makes it so the left and right uh, buttons you can't press at the same time or up and down. If you have one of these pads they come with a control box. The control box usually goes with USB, Xbox, and PS2. Here's the hookup to Xbox. You can see here with this connector it connects right to the Xbox. Here's the uh, PlayStation 2 connector. What I have done is taken the standard breakaway Xbox connector like this and cut it up like this and match the wires with a standard USB cable. All you really have to do is just match the colors in here on a standard USB cable with this and then just either twist tie them or solder them together in order for you to create a USB adapter for your steel DDR pad. Here's what the control box looks like from the back. So in order to get this to work you're going to need to do a few things. Make sure that this is plugged in right here. This looks kind of like a VGA port. It's a serial, serial adapter down to, into this box right here with the start and select buttons. Next, you will use that and plug it into your handmade USB Xbox adapter. Now, it needs to go into a hub because with a hub, for some reason, if you plug this directly into the computer, it will not function properly. You need to plug this in right here to a hub and then that is USB into the computer or else it won't recognize it when you're trying to uh, start up the driver. And you'll find that Xbox DDR shows up like this. Here's the driver, it's called Magic Joy Box. Here I'm going to install the driver. Now that the driver is installed, I need to select it. Don't search, I'll choose a driver. It's this one right here. Tiger Game, Xbox, PS2, GameCube, Game Control Adapter. Click Next. Continue anyway. You might need to, on Windows 7, you might need to enable um, driver by, uh, verification bypass. And so now, to configure the driver, you're going to go to Control Panel. Um, game controllers and this is where you can configure it go to properties and you're gonna change the type the controller mode right here on the bottom controller mode you're gonna change controller mode from digital to DDR BAM then by doing that that's pretty much what helps with the uh, button mapping issue you know when you try and step on two separate things and they don't end up working that's what ends up making it work. So now we're going to test it. <clears throat> um, yeah. And open ITG. I'm going to go into options. And I can go and configure the input. So you configure the input on each one of these. After you're done, you pretty much, you know, here's, I'll just do left here. Left, you pretty much select it, press enter, oh. <clears throat> and then you just press left right here to set up the input on here. Now we're going to test the input. Go down to test input. There we go. And as you see, usually <laughs> it starts off saying not mapped. But now, if I press both left and right, you'll notice that they both register now at the same time, which is what did not work before. 